family in Arvada wants it all to be over. In August, federal agents raided their home looking for child pornography. Now, four months later, no charges have been filed, but the family hasn't been exonerated either. CBS4 investigator Brian Moss taking a deep dive into the case. The family says the feds clearly made a mistake. Essentially, they say this is a massive case of mistaken identity with a hacker stealing their information and impersonating them on the dark web. Their home on a corner lot in Arvada is unremarkable. But what happened here August 26th is unforgettable. I was uh, extremely frightened. Armed with this search warrant, an estimated 30 officers led by Homeland Security tossed the Koskamaki's home looking for child porn. And I was blown away. I was absolutely blown away. I said, what do you, there's, what do you mean? That's impossible. They searched room after room, seizing computers, cell phones, cameras, and DVDs. The Koskamakis are a family of five, mom, dad, and three young kids, who suddenly found themselves accused of cruising the dark web, seeking child porn. They said, tell, tell us about your activity on the dark web. I said, I've never been on the dark web. I, I said, I don't even know how, how to do that. Have you ever bought, produced, or possessed any child pornography? Never. Last year, Koskamaki's wife had downloaded a fitness app. They later learned there had been a security breach and users' information, including IP addresses, had been sold on the dark web. Soon after that hack, federal agents said there was an electronic trail showing the Koskamakis were in child porn chat rooms. We felt like our information was hacked, compromised, and somebody came through our system, one of our computers, utilized our IP address as you know their own or, or however that would work and used our information to go into the, the dark web and, and have the chats they had. That Stranger yet, whoever did it may have used his wife's real name on the dark web according to the search warrant. Who else would get into a chat room, identify themselves by name and occupation if you were actually involved in that sort of activity. It seemed incredible from the moment that they told me the story. The family's lawyer says the Koskamakis are not criminals, but victims of a crime. And he said after four months of searching the Koskamakis' devices. They haven't found any child pornography. The raid cost Jeff's wife her job as agents seized her work computer and cell phone. People need to know that agents came to our home on a Wednesday morning and raided our house and found absolutely nothing of what was in their warrant to find. More than anything, I want them to just say, hey, you're not people of interest. We have found nothing. Here's your stuff back. The U.S. Attorney's Office in Denver said it had no comment on the case. Now, the Koskomaskis have only traffic infractions in Colorado, and they say up until this, they were living the American dream. All right, Brian, thanks very much. In Denver,